Good morning, it's Sunday. We're back out. We're back out on the Great River Ooze. Now, it's not the first time we've been here, nor the second, nor the third. We've been here loads of times anyway, but it's, it's really good, as you can see. Got the town centre right behind us. We've got McDonald's, we've got toilets, well, everything we really need. So anyway, let me show you who's with us today. So we have the outside catering department. Morning, Terry. Morning. <laughs> then up there on the bridge, we have Aaron. Say morning, Aaron. There we go. And down there in the bush, you can see there's Paul, look. But there we go. You probably didn't hear him, but. Yes, yeah, so we're back at this spot because we've got unfinished business here. Um, done this bit twice now, but stuff is still coming out. I've been having a play with the drone and we're going around a bit of the local stuff. So you'll see that now, but here's Aaron with- with some, size bolt croppers. Some more bolt croppers. <laughs> there's a lot of croppers around here. Probably Haley and Roy as well. But anyway, so we're going to see on and get the magnet wet because I've been here ages and I still ain't got bloody put the magnet in yet. But what you going on? Aaron's got some bits. We'll show you them while we're here. What you got? Some kind of, I just said like screw on cap. Yeah. It's probably for someone's hose. That's definitely wheel. <laughs> it's a little wheel, isn't it? I'll just clear my bits up over here. Let's Hang on. Wheel. I'll bring a bit closer around, then you ain't got to keep walking. Oh, there we go. So what you got there? The track explosive. Cause really? That's a train bridge. <laughs> what sort of trains are you thinking of? But that's all right because the train station's not that far from here. So, I don't know if you told anybody that we met someone down the road there? I don't normally do it, but ding ding. <laughs> I got out the car right, and there's this bloody blue-haired idiot standing there, right? <laughs> Blooming Sonic, yeah, Dave, you. And once I saw it with him, I shut the door because I thought, who's invited him? I thought, he thought, he thought he'd done it, but I did. I told him to bugger off. I got a padlock. Always a padlock. I've got a really funny shaped piece of metal, but there's no markings, no nothing. I tapped it all off and it was... That's the key for the, um, the um, doomsday button. <laughs> right, there we go. Don't worry, we're safe, we're not going to have one. Another key. Keys, locks, blimey, everything. I've got a funny oval was mounted to something thing. Thing on one of them, yep. An old 80s door chain. <laughs> Is there anyone in? Well, I've got both halves as well. They always said they were no good, them things. Yeah. I was intrigued by this, bit of thread, funny shape, bit of metal. I'm sure we had one of them before from here. Oh, so I if, think so. If anybody knows what that is, because we ain't got a flipping clue, but well, we, we don't get paid to know, we just pull it out. Lump of cast iron. Really? What, here? Yeah. And I got this funny kind of geared, motored, mechanism kind of thing. Yeah, that's a bit, I don't know, probably a, probably part of an android. you got some more bits over here, Aaron. Let's have a look what you got over here. Look, you got some more bits as well. I've got a pile on the floor. Look, we're keeping busy today, aren't we, look? We're not Bedford for a bike lock. Yep. I've got a scaff clamp. I've got one of those railing joiny type t piece things. Oh, a bit of cast iron. We've got a bit of an old sign. <laughs> and they are bits, aren't they? And then, we've got my mate Jack. Oh, Jack came along just for the ride, yeah? Right. <laughs> Hang on. He had a ride Jack on came side. along for the ride and he <laughs> fell in and fell to bits. But So there we go. So we've not been here long. And um, as you can see, the stuff is already coming out. And there's like a, I'll give you a panoramic view of where we are. Look, see, there's a Swan Hotel over there. You, got, you know about this Swan Hotel, don't you? Uh, from what I was told by a passerby last time we was here, the front part and the square part of the Swan Hotel building that you can see there was originally the hunting lodge for the Duke of Bedford. It was then extended out the back, and you can see the different years of building um, for when the Air Force used it, and then it was extended again to become the hotel and the restaurant. And there we go, so now you know about the Swan Hotel. And outside is this big sort of bronzy sort of statue thing. Paul's had his eye on it, hang on a minute, let's, let's go in there. But unfortunately, he can't take it home, but look, there, there's a soldier in his full regatta. But there we go. Anyway, enough of this, let's get fishing. Guess that nailed it, didn't it? Look at them all. 
Yeah. What you got, Aaron? I've got a screwdriver. And I've got a bike bell. Ding, ding. Stuff on there. I'm got a good pull here. Look, we've got a bike lock, a bit of bar, a oh. Back in a minute. Got a locking pin, some rubbish, and this random looking thing. Let's get this rag off it. It's a big wing there, isn't it? It's a lid for something, isn't it? And that, yeah, a lid or something, for something, for a, it's one of them. Oh yeah, and there was that on there as well. Oh, you get shit, get off. I've got a spoon. And a very old battery. Oh, look at that. It's lovely, isn't it? It's an old cast when it's in reproduction, but it's still cool, isn't it? Set Terry up a little rest. Similar to the one Rusty had in uh, Stratford, but yours it's, has got all its legs. Yeah, that's it. Mine is complete with all four legs. Look at that. That's a nice chair, that is. See what well, was a good steam clean that I come up a treat that would. So got yourself a nice metal chair. The chair Complete. In the little yeah, we're gonna there. we're gonna put it over in the the um cafe. <laughs> I got him. The <laughs> cafe de Terry. <laughs> Aaron will swing the camera around. You can see. Look. <laughs> there we go. Our own cafe with seating now. Brilliant. So we've got another battery, just loads of nails. So we've got an old bolt and a weight. It's not scaffolding. Hang on. What you got, Paul? He's got me cannon. Straight cannon. Look, he's still got his padlock on it as well. Yep. Oh, there we go. He's got himself a launch tube. What you got? Looks like a heat sink of some description. Hmm. Looks like it had a handle, because like they did like the brass ring of the wooden handle. <laughs> it's a blue waffle maker. <laughs> <laughs> like my chair. Two batteries and all shoot. <laughs> Would that work from when I left it? Yeah. So look, I left my magnet in there festering, and Aaron wanted to have a go with it, and he's put it in with two batteries and a horseshoe on it. That's not bad. Rem remember there is rowers now. Where's Marie? Oh, we'll give her a gift from yeah, where's Marie? Cause... Hey, Marie, we need to give her a gift. Marie, 
Aaron Neath says he wants to give you a gift. Stand with Billy Hobbley. No, I'm going to put you on camera as well. So. Right, is Marie in view? Right, Marie, you can see this is addressed to you. Right. And it's a gift. It's from my mum. Obviously, being an elderly lady, she can understand your problems. <laughs> so she's made you a peaky dripper. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> so you are now officially the Peaky Dripper. <laughs> so there we go. Marie, give your reaction to your present. I <laughs> 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 there we go, Marie has now got a peaky dripper. So, see, every problem can be resolved. <laughs> Is there a spare one for me? <laughs> He's a spare one for him. <laughs> <laughs> Blooming batteries. Unbelievable how many's there. And nails. A complete one. Do you want a plant pot, Terry? What? Do you want a plant pot? These are my excellent planters. Cast iron gutter in. You hang them on the wall and put plants in them. There we go, so got a bit of cast iron gutter in, all complete. They're usually quite decorative under there as well. It's even got the hangers on it as well, so that's a nice bit of Another nice bit of history. But yeah, look, what you do is, yeah. still got the hangers. Piece of wiring and a vampire spike. Just how good are these gravel <laughs> <laughs> so Aaron's spent ages with this because it's Ali, but he's been playing with the hook and he's got himself a song. Where are you off to then, mate? Great dinner. <coughs> Anyone found a bike? I need, I need a bike, apparently. Oh, you can't go there without a bike? No, I need a bike. So yeah, he's off to Great Denham on his bike. We've just oh, got on. to find it. Which way is it? It might be that way as well. Oh. Okay, well, he's got the sign anyway. You'll have to ask for directions. <laughs> 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 I got a fishing reel. Where's your handle? Well, you can never get an handle on that. things, can you? <laughs> <laughs> and that's one of the legs for the market stand as well. Yeah. It looks like it, eh? yeah. And you got a leg now. You got a V in the end of it. Yeah. Rod rest. It's heavy though. Yeah, it's, it's one of because the, the market used to be there. Yeah. Keep it off the bottom, ain't you? Yeah. Oh, look at that. That could be really nice as well. It's pulley, isn't it? It's got the rib in it. Yeah. There go, got an old pulley wheel. You can see the bit where the V-belt would have gone in the side of it. Thought at first it was handle, but pretty sure that's um, a pulley wheel. It's different. Any use to you? No. Sort of taps from the crud off, and as you can see, it was an old pulley wheel. That's different. No, uh, and you want to go a, a metre and a half to your right. Right, okay. That's the weirdest looking bolt I've ever seen. <laughs> that is one unusual looking bolt. I've never seen anything like that. 
strange. Never seen so many batteries as there is in there. Oh, I've got it. What is it? What is it? It's a compact. Dior. I've got myself a Dior compact. Look. We used to take the shine off Aaron's head. We'll just put a bit of powder on there. It will stop the glare in the sunshine. And he probably won't be happy when he watches the video. Sorry, Aaron. So I've got a front door key. Hey. Yeah, you got it. Another battery. Look at that for a file. That's a big old chunky thing that is. Mm. So we have another pole and a bike lock. <laughs> Look at this pull Aaron's had. Right, Retro Day, what you got then? I've got a Nokia flip phone. So it's got a flip phone. We have got... A nice personal CD player. Yeah. Do we have a disc? Oh, it's an AM FM one, it's a Ventura. It's a really cheap and horrible one. I don't know whether we've got a disc. I'll try and open that in a minute. And then, is it? That looks very much like a clasp knife, yeah. And loads of bits of, what's that, signpost? No, that's a golf flag for Terry. <laughs> <laughs> there is a CD in it. Let's try and identify what they were listening to. Michael Jackson! <laughs> That's bad. I got on it. You like that one, Terry? <laughs> Got Blood it. of the devil, apparently. <laughs> well, you know they say Nokia's are like indestructible. Yeah. Well, this is obviously fairly old and been in there a long time. But watch this. <laughs> it's still <laughs> flip. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> so he got a flip phone and a flip CD player. Ah, look, Michael Jackson, blood on the dance floor. That's what it is. Do you want that, Aaron? No, I'm all you, good, thank you. You're trying to give him up. Talk about Terry like that. <laughs> Tears them out, they're nice ones there. Now what you got? I've got a padlock. That's definitely not an 80s with padlock. No. That's definitely older, but that's nice. <clears throat> right then, so let's have a look. Turn around a bit. Right, so we've got Some random bits. That's a bit strange shape. I'm going to tap that. I'll scroll off something. And just bits of rubbish. And yep, cast on, which we always get this side. So that strange bit there. It's a bit of cast on, decorative. A little scroll on it and that. So I would say that's probably a fence I've topper. Bits like that. What you got, Aaron? I've got some little pink scissors. Murder weapons. Definitely female ones. Bot lock. Chav can. Square now. And random bits. That's really great, that is. That's cast iron great.
Well, I've got the remains of a push bike, and that really is the remains. But I've got something much cooler on the magnet. Bear with me. Look at that for a big old key. Ooh, hang on, I can't grip it properly. That's a big chunky old key, that is. I know someone that'll want that. I know some that'll want that, but yeah, look, really old key. Look at that, bit of mud guard off a bike, but it's army green. Army green mud guard. Oh. Yeah. I've got a grate as well now. says it's not his. It's an afro comb, isn't it? Are you sure? There we go, got a comb. And, oh my God. Look at that. Metal bracket. But it's got like a dextrous flower on the end of it as well. That's different. Yeah. A bit more me army green mud guard. And a scaffold pipe joiner. He's on the weapons now. Now what you got? You got Stanley's blade? Yeah. Is he a mate of Jack? Because he was here earlier. I'm just actually thinking, we normally have a knife competition in Bedford. Yeah, it's been a bit lax on the knives today, isn't it? I've had the one blade, one had a knife earlier, so I'm actually two in front. We'll start oh, well, this now. Got some catching up to do, haven't I? Strange. It's a bit. There's a lot of murders going on right here. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or an hairdresser's. Well, Aaron found something similar to this earlier. It's like a heat sink. Um, I don't know whether it's from a bit in front of an engine or something, but there's a lot of cooling fins on it. But we don't know what they are. But if you know, you know what to do. Darren's sat on shrunk. <laughs> big very, hands. Oh, big hands, okay. <laughs> Just the angle of the camera. It's not good. Oh, really? I'll come home over here because I wanted to get away from all these nails. Didn't really work, did it? Look at the state of that. Scaffold pole down here, Paul. <laughs> Oh, that's an old spot. <laughs> oh no, he's off. Look. He's, he's off. No, look. That's fat. That's old. Because I've done a lot of looking <laughs> at old spark plugs. <laughs> the anorak's back. <laughs> he's got a new collection. He's going to start collecting them. Which, go on, Aaron. I know I mentioned my Spitfire spark plug, but that's another story. But this is another old design. I started Googling and researching spark plugs, and they go back to around 18, Don't 19. Get out much. So this one was cleaning and researching. <laughs> I'll be back with this one. <laughs> Every pool now is getting like that. So I'd say this has not been done a lot in this particular spot. We've got a bolt. We've got a bent piece of metal. And loads and loads of nails. And it stands. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah. It's a Victorian soap dish. So I found that. Not quite sure what that is either. Like a bracket on the back, but might give that a tap. That, believe it or not, is another really old key, but that's completely past it. That one. The um, got a little bit of the loop on the end, but that's proper gone. I mean, you might be 
More decorative cast iron. And an industrial grade fence pin. I finally got D-Lock. Ah, <laughs> D-Lock. Another one of those cast iron flowery type things. Oh, and a jackhammer spike. Oh, look, look. <laughs> Put them on my box. It's that time of the day again. So we're starting off with bacon, egg and brown sauce. And she says, I'll give it one, I'll do the sausages. Look at this. Every workman needs a good breakfast. You wait taste that bread. So fresh. She's really good with the bread. But anyway, I'm gonna leave you to it because I'm gonna eat. <laughs> so anyway, just if anyone wants to know, we found some old bird under the tree, right? And she does breakfast rolls for two pound each. If you want one, I'd get down there. But saying that, by the time you watch this video, there's a chance she might have sold out and gone home. But it's amazing what you find hanging around under trees, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. She's only little, but she can cook a good sandwich. So, yeah, next, if, you, you know, if you're about and you see someone in the tree, go and get a breakfast roll. Really nice.